So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a PNG file. I had a lady contact me that had two transparent PNG files, but, uh, you know, she could see the trace lines, but she couldn't edit them the way that she needed. So I'm going to go ahead and um, import those images. And this is one. And... This is the other. Okay, so um, if I put these both on the mat, well, actually, let me change my mat to 12 by 24. And let's do horizontal so that I can fit them both on here. Okay, because otherwise I can't scroll over here to get to this one. So, all right. You can see that I have cut lines on everything, um, but she can't um, rearrange this at all. She can't get rid of this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. First of all, you're going to want to trace this. Um, and you're going to have to actually import it from the software. And then update the preview. And I've already done this, so I know that my settings are right. And click OK. And then I can get rid of um, this one. Well, let's check. Let's go to our shape tool and click on this one. I see no nodes, and this one I have nodes. So the one with the nodes is what I want. So let's delete this one. It always traces right on top, but sometimes I manage to grab the bottom one, like if I grab in the white part. I don't know. Anyways, and then I also need to trace this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just delete this one so there's no confusion, and then I'll come and find that one again, and I'll trace that. And I know that my settings are right, because like I said, I've already done this before. All right. Now, she wants this deleted. She wants this rearranged, because this part needs to be moved over to the right a little bit more, because she doesn't feel that it's centered. Um, and she also said that she might want to change uh, the way the words are arranged. So, first of all, what you want to do is come to your shape tool. And I'll zoom in here a little bit and uh, click on your image to get your nodes. And then just left click and drag a box around a bunch of them. Make sure you don't get any that um, belong to this circle here. And hit delete. And then it will delete those nodes. And then you can select the rest. And now I just selected part of that T, but when I hit um, delete, these turn blue, and some of these as well, so I can hit delete, and then I can select some of those and hit delete again, select some of those, hit delete, and those automatically uh, select again because they are connected to what you just deleted, so I can delete that and then just hit delete again. Now they're all gone, okay? Now, for let's go back to the selection tool, and let's actually move this one over here, and we'll move this one over here, okay? So now, to fix this, what you can do is right-click and break apart, or go to Object, uh, Break Apart, okay? Once that's done, you can either select a word, you can select two words, a line, however you want to do it. I'm going to just go ahead and select the line and click Object Merge. So the shortcut for that is Control Shift B as in Beth. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that right quick. Select all of these, Control Shift B, select all of these, Control Shift B. All right, so then I can select all of these and come to my style panel and align them horizontally. And as you can see, this moved over this way and these moved over this way, and now they are lined up right, okay? Then you can right click and group that so that they don't move. 
bring your circle back over, um, select your text, and make it a little smaller. Put it where you want. You can select all of this again. And to select all is uh, Control Shift A. And that should select everything, but it's not. I don't know why. Anyway, I'll just do it this way. I'll check my layers panel to make sure that I have everything um, selected. Now, I don't know what this is, which when I select it here, it doesn't select anything here. So I can come to layers and remove empty layers. And as you can see, it got rid of that layer. Okay. So then I can select this one, select this one, and I can group those. Right click and group. Now, she actually wants to print this because she's going to use it for sublimation. So if that's the case, select it, come to style, and change it from cut to print plus cut print. All right. And then when you check your preview, you'll see that you have no red lines. They're all black, which shows the printable. If I turn the printable off, everything disappears. If I turn the cut lines off, nothing happens because this is now set to print, okay? And that's it. That's how you can um, edit a transparent PNG file. Well, actually two of them. <laughs> Thanks for watching.